Hello and welcome to my channel. If you have been following my channel, you will know that I have been searching for a fox den. So in my last vlog, in the last episode of the Foxes uh, project, we left two cameras overlooking the uh, fox den, overlooking the two holes and uh, hoping to get footage of the foxes using the den going in and out of the holes. So in this vlog, we are going to have a look at that footage. Can I just say though, I have been enjoying doing this project on the foxes and, uh, and I've been enjoying your comments as well. So let me just give you another idea of where we are looking, where we set the cameras up. Uh, just over there, right just above my finger, just about where my finger is, that's where the uh, fox den is. That's where them two holes are. And that's where I caught the deer as well and, uh, and the badgers. So it's right over there, but it is, as you see, caught right in between these villages. So it's quite built up. So really surprised, as I said before, about getting the deer as well. So we've got deer, badgers and fox. So yes, I have been enjoying your comments on this uh, project so far. And uh, Anthony Payne said, uh, Anthony Payne, by the way, great uh, channel, look up Anthony Payne. If you wanna see the difference between vlogging and cinematic, have a look at Anthony Payne's uh, channel. Yeah, so I've been enjoying your comments and Anthony did say in, uh, in the comments on my last vlog that I was in a winter wonderland. Well, I was, and I'm in the same area right now and you can see all the snow has gone and it looks completely different. Very wet today, you've got me out in the rain. And uh, Steve Schnetzler, I hope I'm pronouncing that name right again. Uh, he says that uh, I've inspired him to get his camera out, battery up his trail camera and get out in the woods. He says he needs the exercise anyway. So uh, yeah, thank you for your comments, uh, Steve. Now I did have a comment from Ken asking about the 360 camera. Well, actually about the invisible selfie stick that I'm using, which one am I using? Well, it's, the, um, it's designed for bullet time for the Insta360. So it's the Insta360 invisible uh, selfie stick. I would actually show it you, but of course it is invisible. Okay, so it is time I've made you wait long enough <laughs> to have a look at the footage from the two cameras which is over there across the valley I'll let you have a little look over there and you can hear the traffic down below you can actually see it um, so all of this wildlife is going on around this traffic and this built-up area which is uh, really surprising to me so let's have a look at the footage from the two cameras all my hard work tracking down these animals has it paid off So what do you think? Plenty of badger activity, great footage of the deer again, and of course the foxes. Now, as you know, this is very close to where I live. And the other night I could hear a vixen calling out um, in the woods. And if you've heard a vixen calling out for her mate, uh, she makes a, a haunting sound and uh, to attract any males in the area to mate. And uh, that was going on the other night. And uh, yeah, it was really eerie. It sounded like someone screaming from the woods. I am assuming that's what happened that night. That vixen was mated. She attracted a mate and uh, they have now paired. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, the foxes will then pair and they'll find their den and they'll have cubs. He will provide the food and that's how it goes. So that's what I'm thinking happened and uh, they will have a den somewhere around here there's a squirrel on the rocks over there just spotted 
don't know whether we'll pick that up on this camera. It's funny, when you stand still for long enough, things start to happen. <laughs> now, unfortunately, as you have probably worked out, I have tracked down a badger set. Disappointing, I know. Well, not really. I have enjoyed the journey and I've learned so much about tracking down these wild animals. So you will be pleased to know that I will be continuing to put the cameras out, the trail cameras out, and uh, fingers crossed with a little bit of luck, I will track down the foxes. But for now, that is it for this little project. And uh, yeah, we tracked down, we, <laughs> we tracked down a, uh, a badger set. So just to sum up, I don't look at this as failure. Um, it's just part of a learning curve and I've learned so much as I said before I've learned so much about tracking the wild animals. So thank you for joining me on this short journey It's a lot shorter than it should have been, but thank you all the same Why don't I just film the badgers? I hear you say well that wasn't the project and if I do decide to do a badger project at least I know where to go now Just looking out for that deer. It does come down this way I did see it recently, right down at this level. So it is what it is, as they say. So all that's left to say is, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, this project. Keep an eye out on my channel for future wild cam, trail cam projects. I've got the wild camping coming up, my training, my continued training for the uh, West Highland Way. That's coming up in August, September time. So I've got a nice long time to train for that so we've got the wild camping coming up and uh, I might be bringing my uh, wildlife trail cams out with me when I'm wild camping see what we can capture that's knocking around the tent at night that might be interesting so I uh, hope you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it give me a like consider subscribing I upload vlogs every month so if I don't see you through the month I will see you in the next one bye